Ooh, doggy. Hello and welcome back to Interstellar Marines. Okay, there's nothing interstellar about this. We are within the solar system. Come on, you, that is a misuse of a good word, interstellar. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Anyway, the bots here are not as we remembered them. They are decidedly more deadly. Um, or at least more numerous. So yeah, we, um, yeah, we, we know. We do have more bots to deal with than we did before. So that's good to know. Yeah! It's an even bigger party! Let's go party, bots! Yeah! I just saw the light. I see the light. The light. Ah. All right, so, so it's just more of the party. That's right, let's just think of this as a party. It's a party, y'all! Let's have some fun! Oh, yeah. Talk to me. Just finished reading Hang Chu's report. You can't find anything wrong with the access mechanisms to the storage area. So I got no other option but to keep a close eye on this. To make matters worse, when I mentioned this event to Snyder, he just said that if I couldn't find anything else, I should just let it die. I can't do that. I have an obligation to these people. Their safety is my responsibility. If there's any foul play here that endangers the crew, Okay, well, looks like you failed. Haha! <laughs> Failure! You failed! Look at all these. Uh, look at all these defective bots. They threw their guns away. How are people supposed to be saved now? You know, check it out. Big old Phoenix Stellar Marine coming here. I can be a terrorist. I can be here shooting up people. But what, you got bots? Defective bots gonna defend you, huh? Ah, shoot there! The lights weren't out. This would be an exceptionally easy endeavor, as a matter of fact. I wonder, how do the bots... I guess the, the I guess their senses are a little bit better, huh? You know what I would, uh, you know what I would kill for um, a better flashlight? Why do we not have a better flashlight? I'm serious. Well, maybe I wouldn't kill. Maybe I would. I will. Some people aren't killed. I wouldn't kill everyone for it, but I would kill some people. I might kill some. No, that's messed up. Man, there's penetrating darkness, dude. There's some ridiculous darkness. I can't even penetrate that darkness with my flashlight. See, see, see. I would almost kill for a better flashlight. I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking. Okay, I am joking. I. Well, I might not be joking. If this was really IRL, I might kill for a better. F no, I wouldn't. I don't know. I would very much like to have a better flashlight. I don't think that means I would kill. Why? But you never know. I mean, I, I'm pretty much. I don't think I, I, I'm very thinking very logically in this instance. You know, if this was real, I don't think I'd be able to think with any lo amount, any degree of logic. I'd just be, I'd be going ins I'd be insane. I would go insane because this. I would be scared to death. I mean, this is, you can kind of, I can kind of actually tell, you know, the fear is so great. Did I, you know how I kill myself to get out of this? I can, it's weird, but I can actually see someone killing themselves, RRL. Because they were that scared. Yo, what, you want to dance? Come on, you scared? What are you running off to, bots, huh? You maybe think they might be behind me. <laughs> Never behind me. Okay. Okay, finding our way out of this maze is gonna be a challenge and a half. It seems that whatever logic I'm using to go whichever direction I'm going, 
I tend to use every time. And so I end up finding myself back where I always end up finding myself. Yeah, I, I, I do it around in circles because I'm using the same logic. All right, here's how we do mazes. Left hand rule. Keep your left hand. He just sat there and died. I was just experimenting to see if you really be that stupid. And you were. Okay, tell me I can get back in. Oh, please tell me I can get back in. Oh! No! Oh, no, you get... Oh, no, you joking! I came out on a limb! And I can't get back in! Oh, snap! Well, it looks like the only way out is down. This is bogus. Come on, are you... I think it's... I think it's serious. Well, fine. Be that way. We can't get back into our safety zone. The only out is down. So let's take it down. Let's take him down from their level. Hey, dudes! What's up? I've never been here before, so if you come out and surprise me, well, let's just say I'm expecting you to. So let's go. Let's dance. Come out and surprise me. Hey, dudes! Bros! Guys! Where's the party at? I want a party! What? Well, you guys all die before I go to the party. You know how rude that is! Leave some party for me, dudes! Ah! Ah! You partied yourself to death! That's what I like! Yeah, save some for me! We got some party in! In the back, in the front! I figure I'm going to survive if you try to punch me in the back. Cause you got punk, you got knuckles, dude. What you gonna do with those knuckles, huh? Rip out my spine? What? I'd like to see you try. You come after and get me in the back. Yo, dude, I expected that. I expected that. The only way you could get me is if I have neither of my weapons reloaded. So let's remember the reload, audience. Let's remember. Yeah, gotta always reload. We're on easy. You come and get me? Well, guess what? I got you first. Yeah. Yeah, you dead. You dead. You all dead. Okay. We want to go underneath there. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I can't stop. I can't stop acting cocky. Because acting cocky. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a defense mechanism. It's just like, uh, you know, joking about doom. Impending doom. That is an excellent way. Joking about terrible, fine things. You know, joking about pain, dark humor. You know what dark humor is a thing? The reason dark humor is a thing is so that people will be more secure. They'll be able to think rationally. And so that they can maintain calm in the face of almost certain doom. And so that they don't despair. That's really what it's about. You despair, you die. And you die inside, and then you're killed on the outside. They'll be their guard and spare. So we gotta be cocky. We wanna get through the air. We gotta be cocky. We gotta laugh. We're gonna be excited. We gotta potter. Leo Stark asked me to check on the access door to the storage room. Apparently, someone has been accessing it without leaving a record of who the access door was used. Are you sure That recording seemed awfully short. I don't like your tone. It's not party enough. Fine. You take your your pot, your party like itself to hell. Nah, I'm sure to follow you. <laughs> All right, audience. All right, dudes. Let's hell do our hell party. Yeah. Okay, how are we gonna find a way out of here? Nah, never mind. Let's make sure we follow everybody in here first. Yo, you partying? Nobody partying. Where the party at? Yo, you partying? No one partying. Come on, wake up, somebody! Yo! Sup! We get some up. 
Okay, well, we found one more party here. But that's still not enough partiers. We need someone to wake up. Or to party up more, you guys. Yo. Where are the partying at, huh? I ain't seen no partying. I am disappointed with the lack of partying in this house. You have got to be kidding me. There's nobody at all partying here. That is lame. I call lame on that one. I call severe lame. That is lame and double lame. Well, all right, all you lack partiers. Y'all in hell, all right, fine, be that way. Oh my gosh, there are two stairways. Eeny, meeny, bon, and mo. Catch a robot by the toe. If he punches you in the face, shoot him until he dies. Yeah. Wait, I just... Oh. I forgot we were doing E my mo. And I was like, yeah, in the wrong direction. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh -oh! Right tool for the job. I, knew, I had a feeling you wouldn't move. I had a feeling you weren't going to move anyway. All right, audience. I feel kind of safe on my platform, my big yellow platform that just happens to be a makeshift bathroom at the moment. Eh. Eh, close stuff. Thanks for watching and goodbye.